Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading as an energy check in for Earth signs for the coming week. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you, and energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a short story, and you decide who is who in this story. Too many. One more shuffle. The emperor, the hanged man, the, her the hermit, and the knight of cups. We have these cards here. Okay, we'll keep these aside. There is two very strong energies dealing with each other. One of them is very grounded spiritual like wise energy and this emperor i feel from them they are grounded they are mature i i know but there is a stubborn energy coming from this side this hermit is extending that cup of love with this knight of cups from a very long time but this emperor is very stubborn hanged on an idea about what type of love they will accept in their life and they are not budging with anything else this emperor by time they understood that what they are looking for or what like the standard that they put it has nothing to do with reality and they know they will stay hanged here for the rest of their lives waiting for what they are waiting for because it doesn't exist but because of that stubbornness and that ego they are still not wanting to admit that what what they want is doesn't exist this hermit is more wiser than this emperor they know even though like the the hermit is a solo energy is somebody who is spiritual loner but they read life smarter than this emperor sometimes when you look to life from up you see it way better than the person who is really deeply involved in this life looking from afar will make you see the whole picture and sometimes big problems if you are in when you go out and look from afar you will see it very small and this is the difference between the hermit and this emperor I feel this emperor is dying to accept that cup of love, but because of stubbornness, they are still hanged where they are, knowing right now for sure that what they are looking for doesn't exist and they will never have it. Let's see these cards here. The Ace of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Swords. This emperor is deceiving life by watching but not budging with this knight of swords. There is a passion here. The ace of wands full of passion and life if you will see these green leaves on top. But this emperor is deceiving the situation by not wanting to budge. If you are the hermit, I don't know if, he, if there is anything you can do in this situation. But if you are the emperor, stop wasting your life because of this ego. Life is too short to waste it. Trying to prove something 
nobody care about. Good luck, my dear. I know the hermit is here, but I have a feeling that I want to start with Taurus. Three cards for you, three cards for the energy that you're dealing with. This is the energy that you're dealing with. The Knight of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Page of Wands. Are you dealing with the Emperor, Taurus? This Knight of Swords is here from your person's side. Let's see. This is you. The Ace of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands. This individual is watching you extending that Ace of Pentacles of yours from a while, wanting to grab it, but they didn't. This individual is burdened with the Ten of Wands because of them feeling. I feel this knight of swords deep inside their hearts they are dying to grab that ace of pentacles of yours my dear but i'm getting the impression like the feeling as if like i am giving my the, my brain is giving my arm the order to move and grab but my arms are not responding as if i am not in control of my body My heart is not strong enough to order my arms to do what I want to do. And this is putting me in the Ten of Wands energy, in pain, tired, burdened, but not knowing what to do. This individual is feeling that what they want they are not allowed to take. It's wrong. I feel this individual with this page of wands is starting, even though there is a stubborn energy still in here, if you would look at this picture with this page, but they are starting to change. They are turning to lose a little bit these restrictions that they have and they want, even though with this stubborn energy, to move forward towards you. This individual is trying to change. They want to change. I believe deep inside them right now, they, they're convinced that they need to change. They need to do something about this, but that ego is, the. Right now, this individual is not believing like before that they cannot do what they want to do. Right now, this individual want to do what they want to do. What's stopping them? Not right or wrong. What's stopping them is their ego only. This individual is ready to take this Ace of Pentacles even if they used to believe that this is wrong. Now, as I told you, what's stopping them is their ego. From your side, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and this Knight of Wands. You are still holding this pentacle, my dear, but you started to get engaged somewhere else, busy with your work because you are tired from waiting. There is a message came to my heart and I want to pass it to you. Taking this Knight of Wands energy is not a good idea with this individual, my dear. Giving them the impression like you are not serious and you want to play, thinking that this will lose a bit this individual, they will make them little, they will scare them more. 
your message here that I want to deliver to you, the best way to deal with this individual is ignore what they are doing. Let them come little by little without feeling you seeing them coming closer. Let them come close on their own pace and you keep doing what you are doing with this Eight of Pentacles and don't pay attention to them. Because the moment this individual will feel this Knight of Wands energy, even if you thought that maybe showing this to them will make them relax, you will, it's the opposite. Just ignore them or try to give them the impression as if you are not realizing the changes and let them come closer. Let's see what's the outcome or for this week. Wow, the sun. Something beautiful is coming your way, Taurus. Maybe you waited way too long. But it's coming. You will get your happiness when the time is right. And I feel the time is about to be right. Good luck, my dear. Good luck, Taurus. Virgo. This is you. The Eight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. And this is the energy that you're dealing with. The King of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. You're sending energy to this king of swords like as if somebody is telling the other person, you know what, I will extend this ace of pentacles of mine. It's there. Grab it if you want. You are trying to come closer to this individual with a very snob energy. Wanting to try, but at the same time, you want to try without making that individual believe that you are trying. I don't know what you are doing exactly. You want to go to them with a very snob energy as if you are not going. Now, maybe this is vice versa. Pick your side. This individual is standing here with this ace, king of swords, seeing you doing what you're doing, but they're holding back from you because they're feeling you. You know when somebody want to do something without doing it? I don't know if this makes sense like when I want to say sorry for you but I will not say the word sorry or make it clear I will just give you a hint or a sign as if like I'm sorry but understand it your way because I'm not gonna say it this is what you're doing if this is you you are extending your ace of pentacles with a very snub energy like, I am putting my life on there. You go grab it if you want. But I'm not going to extend it to you. A real extend. A real offer. Energy, signs, hints. But you are not doing it the way you should do it. And this individual is not going to budge with you. And they are staying in this nine of pentacles forever till you do it right. If you will do it the way you are doing it, they will not budge with you. They're still holding the four of pentacles towards you. Again, I'm not sure which one is you. Maybe this is you, my dear. Somebody is trying to offer you something with a very snob energy and you are not ready to accept it unless it, it will come right to you. 
if you are the queen, the queen of pentacles, do it right, because you are losing. And if you are the king of swords, what you're doing is right. If they want to extend the pentacles, they have to do it right. This signs and hints and showing something without saying, this is wrong. Either come right or don't. This is the energy between these two people. I don't know this battle of ego will stay till where, but my feeling that this queen of pentacles is the one who is playing with this energy. This king of swords is very grounded, very clear with what they want. If they are wrong, they will say. If they are right, they will say. The queen of pentacles is giving me the impression of somebody who is in their ego. Big time. Let's see the energy of this one. The seven of wands. There is a resistance from both sides. I believe for the energy of... I don't know if that's a week or... Like for the time being. Because, you know, energy... You cannot put time for energy. For the time being, this situation is staying as it is. This queen is pushing based on ego. And this king of swords is pushing based on them wanting things to be right you did something wrong you have to say sorry you want me in your life you have to extend your pentacle the right way this playing will not work in this situation so if you are the queen of pentacles do it right or you will lose my dear this king is not doing anything wrong if you want them, you have to be clear. You are you are like as if you are calling them to come to you like this, come to me. This is a king. They will not accept your way. Especially as I feel they didn't do anything wrong. It's not like it's not their mistake. They didn't do anything wrong. So I believe it's your turn to say what you want to say clearly. Right. Good luck, Virgo. Again, I'm not sure which one is you. This is the story. Pick your side. Capricorn. Justice, the Knight of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Somebody is fighting for the right, my dear. This is a very specific story. And I'm going to pass the message as I felt it. Then I will start the reading Capricorn. Somebody is fighting for something not because they want it. They are fighting for something only to prove that this is my right. I believe this individual will keep fighting till they take what they believe that this is their right. And when justice will be served. And this, the scale will be balanced. They will drop what they want and they will leave. This individual here only to prove a point. They are not fighting for material. And the moment they will prove their point, they will leave what they want and they will go. So if you are afraid that you will lose, I don't think you will. This individual will give you back. And if you are the one who is fighting for your right, good for you. It's not about what you will gain. 
I know you are here only to prove a point that you have the right and you're going to take your right. After that, it's your choice what to do with it. It's your right. Good luck, my dear. Okay, Capricorn, three cards for you, three cards for the energy that you're dealing with. This is the energy that you're dealing with. Again, the Knight of Swords, the Hanged Man, the Eight of Swords. And this is you. The Seven of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, I mean the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant. This Hierophant is fighting. This is almost the same energy. You are waiting, my dear, for your right, for what you deserve. And you are ready to wait till you take what you want with this Hierophant here. What you are doing in your life is only to make people hear your voice, not to take anything from anyone. You are waiting, trying to find the right way to take or to build what you want to build. Maybe this is a work situation. Somebody is trying to steal something from you and you are not ready to give it. This, page, this Knight of Swords is waiting for you to finish what you are doing and they will take it as if it's theirs. Do you know when somebody do a project and then someone, your supervisor or somebody, will come and take all your work and make it as if they are theirs and get the benefit of it? I feel you with this Knight of Pentacles here and the Hierophant you are not going to keep quiet on this. This individual is hanged here because what they want is with you. And they start to be in the air of swords because they are afraid that you are doing something. And they will be exposed. If this is a work situation, my dear, you will get what you deserve. You will be on top of everyone. And you will not let, with a very smart way, I believe, with this Knight of Pentacles, somebody who is slow, but they know where they are going. Slow but steady. Slow and steady win the race. You will get what you deserve with a smart way without fighting with, with anyone, without standing and arguing with anyone, without doing anything, you will create a smart way to be on top of everyone. And your way will work. This Knight of Swords, they are hanged waiting for you to finish so they can get the benefits. They started to be in this eight of sword trapped in their mind because they are feeling you doing something, but they don't know how to deal with it. This is definitely a work situation, I believe. If you can make it fit in your love life, I don't know how. You have the you you know your situation. Maybe it will fit. You will be the Hierophant, my dear, and you will take what you deserve because you worked hard to get this and you will get it. Let's see the outcome. The Ten of Swords. This is the energy here. This is the Eight of Swords. They will take what they deserve and you will take what you deserve. I believe what you will do 
will open the door of so many things this individual did in the past, but no one was brave enough to do what you are doing. Good for you, my dear. Good for you. You will take what you deserve, Capricorn. This is your right. And you will get your right. Now, after this, I don't know if you're going to drop the situation and leave or you want to stay. But you will prove your point. Excellent job, my dear. Well, this is what I have for you, my dear. Thank you so much for being with me. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thanks again for all the love and the support. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.